Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making pork carnitas right inside of the Instant Pot. So my name is Kristen, I am the second sister from SixSisterStuff.com and welcome back to Instant Pot Mondays. Every Monday I'm sharing a new Instant Pot recipe and today I'm sharing delicious pork carnitas. One thing I love about this recipe is that it's perfect for beginners. It's a dry rub, so you just mix all the dry ingredients together, then you just pat them all around your pork. So if you are new to our channel, I have an Instant Pot Facebook group that I would love for you to be a part of. Sometimes it's hard for me to answer all of the Instant Pot questions here on YouTube, so I started a Facebook group so you can ask other people who also know what they're talking about when it comes to the Instant Pot. So I'll put a link in the description for you there and you'll be able to find my Instant Pot Facebook group. And one last thing, there's only five days left of my Instant Pot giveaway. So you can win an Instant Pot for you and one for a friend. So I'll put a link in the description there and you can go enter to win an Instant Pot. Let's head on over to the Instant Pot and make these delicious pork carnitas. So we're gonna start by adding one tablespoon of chili powder into my bowl. Now we're making the dry rub right now. So just one tablespoon of chili powder. Next, you're gonna add one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. But quickly, I wanna show you my awesome magnetic tablespoons because I love them. They're one of my favorites and they have two ends to them. So I can use one end for my chili powder and the other end for the Italian seasoning. All right, on to the pepper. So you're going to add one teaspoon of pepper and this pepper does not want to come out. There we go. So about one teaspoon of pepper. After the pepper, you're going to add one teaspoon of salt. Now don't worry, I'm going to put all of these ingredients in the description below so you won't have to go hunting or watch this video again. All right, and then one teaspoon of garlic powder. Once you're done, you're just going to mix your rub all together so you can put it on your pork. All right, so I actually got a pork tenderloin. You can get pretty much any kind of pork. So this is a three pound pork. If you're gonna do any less than three pounds, I would half this recipe. If you're gonna do more, you're always welcome to double it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle on the seasoning and then pat it in really well. Then when you're done with one side, you're gonna flip your pork over and you're gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. Now originally carnitas are made with a more fattier pork, but I don't love the fat, so that's why I'm using a pork tenderloin. Now like I did before, I'm just gonna pat it all around the meat, covering any area that I can see that doesn't have any spices on it. And when you're done, you're just gonna pick it up and put it right into your Instant Pot. Now you can add water, you could add beef broth, you could add whatever you wanted to. I'm just adding one cup of water because I need liquid for it to pressurize. And that is all there is to it. So I'm gonna put my lid on, make sure it's tight and sealed right. Then with the little knob, you're gonna make sure that it's on sealing, not venting. Now it's time to cook it. Now I'm gonna push manual because my Instant Pot has that, or you could do normal pressure, or if you don't have an Instant Pot, it's also high pressure. So I'm gonna go all the way up to 50 minutes. This is a three pound pork roast. If you have anything more than that, I would bump up the time if you have something less, you could go down to 45 minutes. All right, so I have a cookie sheet that I put foil on. It just has one minute left. Now, you will see this little L when that, that means your timer is done. So it will start counting up when your timer is done. So now that it shows the L, that means it's done, it's beeped, and I'm gonna do a quick release. Now, once all the steam is out, you're gonna open the lid, and I'll tell you right now, it smells absolutely amazing. And it looks amazing too. Okay, so I pulled it out so I could shred it a little bit easier. I don't love shredding it in my Instant Pot because it's a little too hot. So I put it on a plate and then I just start shredding from there. Now, if your pork isn't cooked all the way through, you can always put it back into your Instant Pot and cook it a little bit longer. It will come to pressure quickly because it's already heated up but this pork is cooked all the way through. It was shredding so easily. So you have two options now. You can put it onto your cookie sheet just like that, or you can put it back into your sauce, let it have a little bit more flavor around the individual pieces of meat. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna put mine back into my Instant Pot, mix it around just for a minute to get those flavors, then I'm gonna put it onto my cookie sheet. 
All right, once I've shredded it all the way, put it back into the sauce, now I put it on the cookie sheet so I can broil it just for a little bit so I can get that little bit of extra fat to burn and to get a little bit crispier edge to the pork. So now I'm ready to preheat my oven to broil so it's really, really hot. It's gonna be high or 500 degrees. Put it in my oven for only about two minutes. You wanna watch it because if you go longer than two minutes, it will burn. You don't want your pork to burn after all that hard work you've done. Now once it's done, you're gonna pull it out of the oven, let it cool for just a minute, and then you're ready to make your tacos, your enchiladas, whatever you wanna make with them. All right, so I get this Spanish style rice from Costco. It's one of my favorites. And also this cilantro avocado yogurt dressing. It doesn't sound very good, but I'm telling you, it's one of my favorites and hardly any calories. Now I'm making mine a little bit healthier. I'm trying to add a lot of salad, Putting my pork on top, I'll add probably tomatoes and a little bit of the dressing, and that's all I need. There's so much flavor in this pork. But my kids loved all the fixings of sour cream, guacamole, you name it, they put it on and they loved it. Now don't forget to enter our giveaway. We're giving away two Instant Pots. Link is in the description. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today on Instant Pot Monday. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next week. See you later. Bye.